Hello friends. Today we are going to derive an expression for the velocity of the linear section. As we know, the differential equation of linear section is t to x upon dt square plus omega square x is equal to zero. Or we can write here this expression as t to x upon dt square equals to minus omega square x is equal to zero. Here the term d to x upon dt square can also be written as d upon dt of dx upon dt. The term dx upon dt is called as velocity. So it is dv upon dt or it can also be written as dv upon dx into dx upon dt. Here dx and dx will be cancelled from both the numerator and denominator. So this expression d to x upon dt square is equal to or dx upon dt is called as velocity. So it is v into dv upon dx. Now putting the value of this d to x upon dx the dt square in the equation of above we get v dv upon dx equals to minus omega square into x or v dv is equal to minus omega square x into dx. Now integrating this equation with respect to x from the both sides we get what v dv is equal to minus omega square integral of x into dx. As you know the formula of integration x raised to n dx equals to x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus constant of integration. So we can write here v square upon 2 equals to minus omega square x square divided by 2 plus c. Where c is a constant of integration. Yes, c is the con constant of the integration which is to be determined using boundary condition. See what is the boundary condition? We know that when a particle is set into the oscillatory motion, then it executes to and fro motion about the mean position O. At the positive extremity or negative extremity, suppose at point P, which is the positive extremity, x is equal to A, which is called as amplitude, and velocity is 0. So now, putting x equals to A and P equals to 0, in equation number 2, we get what? We get 0 equals to minus omega square at the place of x, we will write A, so it is omega square a square divided by 2 plus constant of integration. So c is equal to what? c equals to omega square a square divided by 2. Now, when we put the value of c in the equation number 2, we can write here from equation number 2, we can write here v square divided by 2 is equal to minus omega square x square divided by 2 plus value of c which is omega square a square divided by 2. Here 2 will be cancelled from both sides. So we can write here v square is equal to positive value omega square a square minus negative value omega square x square. Omega will be common here. So we can write a square minus x square which is equal to v square. So v is equal to what? It is plus minus omega square root of a square minus x square. This is the expression for the velocity of the linear system. Here the sign of plus and minus represents that velocity is minimum on the both sides of the extreme position. That is at positive extremity it is minimum as well as at the negative extremity q it is minimum. Thanks for watching this video.